Hi guys, today I'm doing a project and I thought it'd be really nice to do a floral project and I thought I would use one of my CD-ROMs and I had this beautiful um, neutral card pack of cards come through. Now I don't think you'll see very clearly the pink but I'm try by putting it there. It's this gorgeous, almost not there, soft dusky pink you can that's the, obviously the white and putting it against that you can just about see and I really wanted to use something of that color because it was so pretty I was, so I had a look at my CDs to see which ones kind of struck me as obviously going to be nice for florals and clearly the Royal Horticultural Society CD by Joanna Sheen is going to be one that I thought was the first one I picked off the shelf because it's going to have loads of flowers on and it's three CDs and there's absolutely masses on there. Loads of toppers and papers, just loads of stuff. Anyway, this is a great CD, I would highly recommend it. Okay, so let's just get rid of some of these bits and pieces that I've put. Now these, as you know, I quite often put out bits and pieces that I think I might want for my embellishments. And I get them out ready to go because you can then see how they all kind of go together yeah, I'm not necessarily going to use them all but it gives me that selection in front of me of the different things that I might want to use so and I've got my gorgeous feather there and lovely pink it's a really lovely um, I'm not sure that it's a marabou actually but it is very very soft and fluffy and I'm gonna to have to hold that underneath my light there because I've got the fan on and I don't want to lose it. I've got a whole selection of paper flowers hence why I have the brads because I might use those to put the paper flowers together. So again I'm just going to pop that under my light to stop them blowing away and I've got some little silk flowers as well. Um, really nice. Some pearls of course. You know how I love my pearls. And I found these gorgeous. I don't know if you can see they've got like little sparkles they're perfect color I'd like to use them but I'm not sure whether they'll fit in or not so um because I think I'm going more pearl okay so first things first it's going to be an A5 card so I've got my A4 piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half so let me just make a tiny mark so I know where the halfway point is and then get my scoreboard and I've got my little baby Martha Stewart scoreboard here, I'll just run down the back and there's my card base so that's my card base so I'm not going to need that for a minute okay now. so now I need to take a piece of my lovely patterned paper and I'm just going to I'm going to use this side because it's got that lovely bigger flower on it and I think that looks so pretty and I'm going to just turn it over like so and I'm going to get the pencil hopefully yep and I'm just going to mark it, so I just want a little bit of the pink showing, so I'm just going to mark where I want to trim it, so I'm just doing probably about an eighth, about an eighth down. So now just check that on my card here, making sure it's the right way up, it always helps. Yep, that looks good. Okay, I'm not going to stick anything down yet because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing so with ribbons and things so I'm gonna leave that the next thing I need I think really is my topper itself so again I need my trimmer back you could do this with a knife if you wanted to and there you have your topper and I don't think you're any different you wouldn't know that that had been printed by me as opposed to on a um, machine professionally done as it were okay so that I need to measure my topper here because what I want to do is cut a piece of the pink paper to fit but slightly larger I'm tempted to be honest to get a slightly darker pink um, to match so I, I may well change my mind on this and the same for the background putting a slightly darker pink between this and that just to give it a bit more pop it's not enough right 
Okay, I'm gonna get a slightly duskier pink. So just bear okay, with me. So I found this uh, slightly duskier pink. I think it's a coordinations color. I'm afraid it sort of was chopped into, so I'm not entirely sure. But um, I'm pretty certain it's coordination. It's got a lovely textured side and then a more plain side. So um, we can decide which one we prefer. Um, I may go for the plain side so it's in keeping with the rest of the card but anyway I think that goes really nicely so I'm actually going to continue cutting the white layer or the pink layer this pale pink layer because it will match my card base so it brings it all in together so and I'm going to put that down first I played around with looking at the order of it and I liked it with the creamy uh, pink the pale pink I keep calling it cream because it looks cream against the pinks anyway the pale pink against the actual background um topper even let me just check that, that looks good sizing on here perfect 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 so then that will go on top of there now we can stick those three together so I'm going to pop those down and stick them together in a moment. The first thing I'm going to do before I do that, so I finish with my cutting, is I'm going to cut my pink cardstock to go on my card base here. And that fits lovely on there, so that's a perfect fit. So then I just need to take my pattern paper here and just take it down a very small amount. And then just check that it goes onto our pink, okay. Yep. Lovely jubbly, as they say. Perfect. And then the card, that would fit onto there as well. There we go. So I think that actually looks a lot better with that pink in. Okay, so I've just taken the purple away so hopefully you can see a bit better. But I think that looks a lot nicer with that darker pink. I think it just gives it a bit of a pop. And then we've got the same with our topper, only we've slightly reversed the pink and the white here because I think it looked just a little bit better that way around. So that's going to be sitting on there like so. So I'm going to put those three layers together next. just thinking that it would be quite effective to put glossy accents on the frame here to make the frame I mean it looks 3d already as you can see because of the um, the way they've done the shading and stuff but I thought to actually put the glossy accents on would look even more effective now, obviously that means I need to give it some drying time so I'm going to do that now and then I can be getting on with the other bits and pieces that I need to do while that's drying off Okay, so all I'm going to do is just take my glossy accents and just fill in the area that's the frame, like so, if you can see, there we go, and if there are any bits that just go where you don't want them, then just take your craft knife or whatever and just, I like the craft knife because you can kind of push it back in more of a line and then I always have a little um, wipe on hand. So then you can just say go down and just straighten up any edge that needs doing and you want to do that fairly rapidly because it starts to set like um like a film it, it comes on like a film on the surface quite quickly so you want to make sure that you do that quite quickly all right so i'll come back to you when that's done because that's a bit boring to watch okay so that's that done i've got to be very careful but you can just sit in the light um and i think that looks really effective 
so I'm going to put that to one side very carefully now so that that will dry off and uh, especially with the fan going I don't want anything to blow on it so I'm going to put it right out okay, the way. So while that's drying I'm going to do some other bits on the card so the first thing I want to do is my insert so I'm going to fold it in half the wrong way out actually I'm not going to fold it in half yet that's not true I'm going to cut the white off first so then we're going to take the um, uh, insert and fold it inside out. Now the reason I do that is just so I can see for sure that I'm happy with the position of my happy birthday. If for any reason it wasn't quite right I could fold it slightly off and then cut a bit more off this edge but actually it's worked out nice and centrally so that's good. Um, that was the plan when I placed it on the uh, image on the page in the computer but it's always hard to judge so I'm going to fold it like that and then of course I'm going to fold it back the other way which is the correct way okay and then we're going to get my card base so make sure that's the right way round and we're going to put our insert in and again I'm just going to check that it fits nicely so what we want is just a small margin um, it, almost like when you're doing your toppers you just want like a, an eighth of an inch maximum a quarter of an inch um, from, the, from the edge so I would do like about an eighth um, I just personally I think one of the things that is one of my pet hates is when you have an insert and you turn up and it's like an inch in I think that looks really cheap and you wouldn't find a really expensive card where they had done that if you were purchasing it, it just wouldn't happen. So make sure that you get your inserts in the right size and it just again makes such a difference. When they open that up and they see that beautiful insert that's matching, I mean how much nicer does that look? You know I do it decorate the inside of my card a lot but um, I love doing inserts, they're a nice easy way of doing it. So what you want to do when you do an insert, and I have said this on other occasions when I put them in, is you want to make sure your adhesive is on the leading edge so that when you open your card, it's this edge is what I call the leading edge and it is stuck to the front of the card because then as you open the card, because it's stuck, the insert to this part of the card, as it's open, it automatically lifts this edge of the insert up so it opens the insert as you as you open the card if you stuck it to the back here so you had it stuck down on this side as you open the card the insert's going to stay closed because this piece isn't attached so then they've got to fiddle around and open that as well and again it's just a little detail but it does make a difference to how it looks now as for adhesive I, all I do is use a tape runner, it doesn't need anything usually very strong. I just make sure my insert and my card is the right way around and then I just put it on the edge of the spine of the insert. You don't want to go too far out because you want it still to be an insert and kind of flapping around. But uh, So just down the spine edge there and then line it up on the inside here with the um, central crease and also making sure that there's no dog hair um, that it's even each side because that's the other thing that's going to look really poor if it's not even and then holding your insert in place fold that flap down and then go across like so and then when you you will see what I mean when you open your card it pulls it up you can see look as I pull it you can see how it's pulling it up now if you can imagine that it was the other way around this would be the side that isn't stuck down. If we'd stuck it on the back, this is what would happen when they open the card. Well, that really just does not have the same effect, does it? So definitely make sure you do it that way around. And doesn't that look really pretty? Okay, so then the next thing I need to do is put my paper here and attach it to my pink base here. And I'm gonna use my Cosmic Shimmer glue again. There we go. And then personally, as I say, I like to get my little roller 
and just roll it and what that does if you look quick is where the glue is in kind of little lines inside you're smoothing that out so hopefully you won't get any bumps or anything but I mean you really don't have to do it it's just something I like to do it makes me feel that it's definitely adhered and it's all nice and smoothly done okay so I'm not going to attach that to the card because I think possibly I'm going to put a um, ribbon around but I'm not 100% sure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, spare topper which has got a little bit of an edge as just to help me out with spacing and guidelines because obviously I can't use my other one at the moment so what I want to do is get some bits and pieces and make it look all pretty so that's those two so let's presume that we're gonna so I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna be neat or more kind of out there but I think I'm gonna be neat so it's, that's gonna be tucked under like so with our well that looks nice kind of hanging at the bottom there doesn't it I like that so this is what I like to do is then I get this is why I get all those different things out because then I start playing around with them and sort of thinking about what will go where so then the other thing I want is to have my ribbon uh, my ribbon that is just complete rubbish is my um, feather if I can like so and it may be we need to move our like that that's it And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want um, a bow because I don't think it's going to need it. So then we've got my ribbon. And I think I might need to turn my fan off in a minute because I think it's all going to go. Okay, and then, um, oh, I've got, these, I've got these pearl swirls, but I don't think I want that on there. I do think I want to have a look having a doily on there so let's just slide that little honey in there and I'm putting it that side at the moment because there was that lovely flower there and I didn't really want to cover it up I've got this gorgeous actually I've got this gorgeous brad here which might look quite effective if I get my flowers and I think this is really in keeping having the paper flowers for this I think it really works because it's kind of such a kind of I don't know vintagey feel to it so that's that one so you can have him as my main flower there and then I've got a little flower which I could put together just using and put a little um, gem in the centre or pearl in the centre there. There, I think that works. Sort of. I mean it's obviously a little bit more messy than I'd want it to be. And then we could put one up there if we wanted to or I could use just use this little button up there. So I've got some choices with that so as well. I've got a bigger pearl in there in the end and um, a the smaller one in there. So they're going to go like that somehow. I'll fiddle around with that. And then I've obviously got my pearls to go around the edges and everything at some point. And the other thing that I want is my pins, which I've got somewhere. I put them down. Oh, here they are, looking at them. So I want a couple of pearl pins, I think, not crystals. And they'll just pop in here behind my flowers like so so the only thing now really I need I can put down my ribbon and my doily and, and everything but then I kind of can't go any further until my glue my um, glossy accents is set okay, so I've got my gel glue and I'm just going to use my stick here and just put some blobs down as I said I'm not going for height particularly here I'm just going to make sure that the um, where the ribbons are down that it's not going to make it look bumpy on the front if you went completely flat by using a flat glue you would see the bump and make sure you go over the top of the ribbon as well that will help because then you're sticking the ribbon to the paper or the card underneath so that will stop it 
pulling out. Always a good tip, I think. Okay, now making sure that's the right way round. Popping this down on the front of our card. Now at the moment you can see that's, well you probably can't, there you go, from the side you can see you've got height so if you wanted to you could leave it but I'm not going to, I am actually going to squish it down. There we go. There, so that's stuck down. I love that ribbon effect, that looks so nice. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of my Cosmic Shimmer glue and I'm going to put some on the middle of my doily here and a little bit on the edges. So we're just putting it to the top there and the side there. So that's how I know that's the position I want it. And then we just gently press that down and then that will dry nice and clear and also my edgy bits here will be all stuck down which will be even better okay so this is pretty much dry now and i think it looks really effective having that on there i'm hoping you can catch it in the light there and uh just finishes off that frame really nicely i think so i'm gonna put that down and we're gonna get our card back so we need to now pop this on and I want this to be up onto my 3d gel so that it's nicely up on that and then I can start adding my other bits and pieces that we looked at so, so this time I am going for some height hence why these are a bit bigger and I want to make sure that the center doesn't sink or anything like that. There we go. And then just turn that over and around. <laughs> okay, and what I don't want to do is cover up the lace too much. So about there I think. Now I know it's slightly off to the right because obviously we're going to be putting some stuff down that side so I don't want it to be so um, it's going to have the illusion of it being central that's what I'm trying to say there we go so that's that bit done and and then I had a little flower that I was thinking of putting up there and also then I could put a bead in there, a, a pin in there as well if I wanted to but the next thing really I guess is my feather I'm just deciding actually whether I really want to go down the feather route so let's just double check that I think I think it looks nice with the feather I, I like it I'm gonna go for it what the heck <laughs> okay so I'm going to put a if I can pick my thing up I'm going to put a bob of glue down here which hopefully is going to take my flowers as well or at least some of them and then we're going to put a little bit of the glue up there just to hold the, the feather in place Making sure my hands are clean of glue because that's always a pain. There we go. And then I want to put a little bit more, whoops, a little bit more glue down just on top here just to be sure that it stays where it's supposed to because it's all encapsulated then and then I'm going to put my flowers on okay so that one's definitely going to go there there's no problem with that and then let's put some glue on the back of these and this one I want just about there let's lift that up a bit that actually should have come in last really I think anyway 
that's fine. And then this one is going to just come in there. Again, I want the white over the top of that. There we go. That looks so pretty. Very nice. Okay, and then I'm just going to slide my pins and I'm just going to hold the flowers because what you don't want is the, the f pins to move the flower. Whoops. So I'm just going to put that one in a bit lower. There we go. So we've got our pins in there. Like so. So I think that looks really pretty, especially with the lace. So now I'm just trying to decide do I want that and I think that's probably the direction I want to go but I have got these gorgeous button things just so pretty it seems and they're so sort of in keeping actually they might go at the bottom I definitely think we need a flower up the top though to balance that out so let's pop that up there now I put the heavier bit of glue there so that it stays where it's supposed to still not enough though what you don't want is the edge dipping down you see because it just looks horrible <laughs> there we go and I'm just going to loosen this petal up here it's got twisted around that's better and I just want to twist this top if I can just a little there we go and then move it over like so so it's nicely on there that's it there we go so I think that's looking really really nice and I was just wondering now and I've got these um pearls here that have got the bigger ones in so I'm going to put three down here and then one in each corner that's those three done and then I'm going to put one more in each of the corners and he's pretty hidden underneath the flower but you can still see him okay okay so I think we're all done and just to show you as well um, that I have made the envelope and I've made it as a side envelope so I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me and again I hope you can see that you know CD crafting really is still all about crafting and um, that you can see the benefits of it really I'm trying gradually to convert people so hopefully you like this card and you can see why I like using CDs and um, as I said um, I've enjoyed sharing this with you and I'd love to hear your comments and I'll see you all again soon thanks for watching bye